All right, so today we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite thing, ice cream. So taking a look at this ice cream cone, what do you recognize? What shapes do you think are going on here? Uh, obviously, uh, down at the bottom, uh, we've got that cone, right? It's an ice cream cone. It's a cone, right? Definition of a cone right there. And then, uh, and then our other uh, shape on top. Two ways to look at this. Um, this could be a sphere or I like to consider it a hemisphere, which is where you have half of a sphere, a hemisphere being half of a sphere. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and draw out this shape, and we gotta, we gotta do this right and get our, our colors right. So we're gonna go with a cone, right? We've got our cone right here, and it comes around like that. And then what do we see on top of our cone? I'm gonna do this and go with like a, uh, a mountain blackberry ice cream. We've got this here, and it comes up like that. And then around the back, we've got our kind of dashed line right here. Um, and that right there, there is our, uh, is our ice cream cone. So if we wanted to find the volume of this ice cream cone, um, by the way, I like to think, I like to do this as a hemisphere right here rather than a sphere, because I like to assume the rest of that has been pushed down into the ice cream cone. So you don't have a big old empty ice cream cone with like this sphere floating on top, the hemisphere. So uh, next thing we're going to need is we're going to need some measurements. Uh, well, what do we need? Well, for our hemisphere, obviously, uh, whenever we're dealing with a hemisphere, we've got to deal with here our radius. Um, when we're dealing with our cone, we've got to deal with our height and then once again, our radius. So those are the only real measurements we need. <clears throat> Let's think about this. How big do we think an ice cream cone is? We're probably only looking at a radius of like one or two inches on an ice cream cone. Maybe if you get a really big one, you go to Composite and they like, if they just stuck a huge one in there, you'd have like a two inch. But generally speaking, you're looking at a pretty small one inch, remember this one inch radius, meaning a two inch diameter, so that's two inches across. And then a normal ice cream cone figure might be maybe three or four inches tall. So if we wanted to get the area of this, or the volume of this, uh, first off we're gonna have to take our, um, our hemisphere here. And so a hemisphere, if four thirds r to the third pi is a sphere, a hemisphere is going to be half of that. Well, what's half of four-thirds of something? Well, it is simply two-thirds r squared, uh, r to the third, which in this case is just one to the third, which is one, times pi. So this part right here equals two-thirds pi. That's the volume of that. And then we have our cone down here. Okay, and what do we do for our, uh, to get the, the volume of our cone? It is a third of a cylinder, one third r squared pi times height. So in this case, one third r, again, our r is one, pi uh, times height, which is three. So we're going to go back in here and fill this in. We have one third r squared pi times height, um, one third. So uh, our one third r squared pi times height, uh, with these can cancel out, one third divided by a third, and we are left with right here, this is gonna equal pi. So we have two thirds pi, we gotta add these two together. What do we end up with? We end up with one and two thirds pi, or uh, five thirds pi, five, uh, so it's, oh, wait, let's do that right. That is going to be, uh, so our total when we add these together is five thirds pi. And so if we take five, divide it by three, multiply it times pi, uh, which we can go ahead and calculate out. Maybe I should have done that ahead of time, but you know, oh well. Um, we're going to get somewhere around five square inches. Uh, is that right? Two, three, no, we should get a little bit more than that. Uh, okay, calculating this out, we're going to have, we're just going to take our calculator here really quick and do 3.14 times, and we're going to do times 5 divided by 3 is 
0.23, and this would be, assuming inches, it would be inches cubed. And that is how big our uh, uh, the volume of our cone is. Now, uh, I'm going to show you something, and I want you to go ahead and figure out what you would need to do differently on this. So take a look at this. This is thrifty ice cream. What do you notice is different, different about it? So right up on the top there, we can already see these ice cream cones, they're not circles, they're cylinders. This is kind of like uh, kind of like square hamburgers at Wendy's, right? This is a whole different thing. Now, I, I want you to think about this if we were going with that one inch radius, but I don't want you to just think about this. I want you to think about this. Yeah, we're talking about a stack of cylinders on there. So see if you can find the volume, assuming we have a one inch radius, We've got, uh, I would say, a one inch radius and probably a two inch slice. So really quick, just to give you a, a quick diagram of what we're looking at here. Um, we're looking at each one of these is one inch as a radius. And then down below, we've got a two inch height. And that's for each one. And then let's go with that same cone, one inch radius, right? And then a three inch height for the cone. So we got our cone down here. So see if you can find out the volume of that and see how much more ice cream there is in a triple scoop than there would be, uh, or what the total volume versus a, uh, versus a single scoop.